Hello, hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about what's happening with these energies because it has to do with releasing the past. So to get started, what I want to let you know at first is for those of you where at least one of you have managed to stay out of a relationship with a karmic soulmate or get out, the connecting parts that connect you to are staying connected. Now, if both of you have gone into relationships, and this needs to be said, you've now created a new timeline, and you will have caused a little bit of a delay there. Now, I know people don't want to hear that and people are going to wonder, but like I say, if at least one of you has been able to hold steady and do what you can, your connecting parts are now connected. Now, what does this mean? What that means is that you're going to be feeling your twin in ways that are deeper and that is what actually is getting you together. Now, a lot of this pertains to your unification of your light body, okay? So this includes fitness, what you might call your spiritual fitness, but your strength. And this does not equate with being religious at all. This is actually how well you're doing your strength, which is your stamina, the emotions, and your creativity. So that's what this energy is about. It's about releasing the past. There's other things to know. There are things that um, have to do with people who are star seeds. So if you are a star seed, the things that are seeded in you, those are going to start bearing fruit here. And What's been happening is from September of 2017, everything's been pushing you along towards this, and there will still be some pushes. Now, the key difference is you are finishing the last of cosmic karma. You're finishing things that you have shared. That's why your connecting parts are connected, so you can get the shared things finished. And you might say, Patricia, I'm not with my twin, so what do I do about that? Aha, uh -huh. I have the ways and the what to do and how would you do it. There's also some other things to know about your energy, about this energy for your union. The, um, you, if you can't let go of another relationship, a marriage, if it's you or your twin and you're perceiving maybe your twin isn't the one letting go, you may have to do some of the letting go. That retrograde energy, we're out of it now. So now that we're out of the retrograde, that retrograde was for a little bit of a pushback so you can have the consultant uh, meetings with people you need to consult with, people to set up your business, interviews for jobs, moving, checking out places, talking to a divorce lawyer if that's necessary, all kinds of stuff for people. That's what the retrograde energy was for. Now you're going to get pushed forward. However, if you didn't, if you didn't take the hints that were there from the universe and the things that were actually said to you and your guidance and your own inner pulls, there's going to be another opportunity, but it's going to happen a little bit later. And this might upset people because people are talking a lot about, well, what is this all about? what's happening, and there are people that are getting pushed forward that may not know why. Some of those people may be your other. They may be your twin, your true twin. If you stay in old relationships, if you stay in old situations, they're not going to be sustained either. And that's the energy that starts to crumble underneath. If that's your twin, it's going to start crumbling for them. If that's you, it's going to start crumbling for you. How do you jump to safety? How do you jump off that sinking ship? That's the thing. How do you do that? I have some of the ways that I teach. 
So this is also a lot of the emotional backwash of, of lifetimes and centuries and planets worth of stuff that you've felt. You may find that you weep for days on end. You may find that, find that your creativity is blocked or stunted. You may find that you're out of strength and you're very fatigued. Fatigue is happening and I know what that is and I know why it is and I know what to do about it. And when I speak with people, so I highly recommend if you are having any of this, if you are having emotional turmoil, if your strength is leaving you, if it feels like you're dying, have a session with me because I do not only get where to help you unblock on your body, what's happening on the other side, because that is why I am a twin flame teacher. There's two of you. Sometimes someone can tell you about what's going on, but they can't give you a full picture of it. They can't tell you supplements. They can't tell you uh, what to go check. They can't tell you some of the things having to do with the connection between your subtle body and your human body. By the time your human body gets sick, it's time to go for the medical care. Now, if this stuff is bothering you, if your strength is affected and you're fatigued, if you're emotionally affected, and that's causing additional fatigue, a lot of people do take themselves to the doctor or the hospital where they may not know exactly what the connection is. They're classically trained in allopathic medicine. There's nothing wrong with the doctors. The thing is, is that it is happening for your twin union. And the thing that the doctor won't know is twin flame. You're a twin flame and you have a twin flame and what your twin is going through can and will affect you. So the connecting parts are connected and there's no going back. So here's another visual I have for you. You've seen me bring out the globe before. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to 3D Earth. Say goodbye to 3D Earth. Say goodbye to your fourth dimension. It's all going away. You're not going to be able to have you and your twin come together, recharge each other's batteries, and go into separate situations. You're not going to be able to get together with your twin, have a great conversation, get drunk together, and go sustain the things that you were doing. There's another thing to know about your twin. Your twin is a bit flying blind on this, okay? Your twin's foundation is shaking up and they are trying to find their way. And if you're there and you're seeing your twin, okay, or not seeing your twin, if your twin can't see the forest through the trees, what do you do about that? Your twin is trying to feel out here how, what do you do? You help them to feel. You help them to navigate it. You help them to stay alive. You help them sustain while they jump off the sinking ship. Because that ship is sinking. And he's not intending to be blindfolded. Okay? There's a reason to know. Why do people block you? Why do twins shut down the social media? Number one, it gets very intense. Number two, that is not the ultimate way to communicate with each other and it does not promote the heart communication. If he can't see, what is he left with? What do blind people use? They use their other senses. So he's got to have the other senses, but guess what? Guess what? You can't be distracted. So if a lot of you have twins that continually distract themselves with stuff or they're continually in a relationship because they just don't know how to be by themselves. How do you help them? I teach you how to help them and where to detach from it. This may feel like a time to you of enforced loneliness as well. You might feel isolated. You might feel like there's an enforced loneliness. Do you have to have constant activity? 
Is it tiring? Are you too tired for some of the stuff that you used to do? Are you too tired to have a social life? Must you have ceaseless activity? Must your twin have a constant level of activity? They go, the go, go, they're going out, they're doing this, they're working, they're, they're working too much. And what does it amount to? It amounts to distraction. Are they distracting themselves? Are they not getting to know themselves? Now, you may be the one in the position where the isolation is you. You may actually feel very natural where you don't want to be around people. You may have gone through the holidays and said, whew, I'm glad that's over, and then felt the exhaustion and felt some of the illness kick in. That illness is also something from the past. It's not usually current life, although it can be. People do actually get ill. They get the flu. They get um, upper respiratory. They have had things go on with their gut and sometimes the other organs or the back or the hips. Those are important parts. Eye inflammations, very common for twin flames. Urinary tract inflammations and infections. Things that have to do with not just your urinary, but the sexual area, things like yeast infections, changes or abrupt changes in your menstrual cycles or your testosterone cycles. I have quite a bit of information on that, on what to do about it. So if your twin is not able to see, sense, feel, and no peeking, and he's got to, he or she, has to go through some of the things that you went through, why would you turn your back on them? Why wouldn't you cut the time and do what you can to help each other? Because this is the time for your shared stuff. This is your shared cosmic level stuff. Now, I do have not only one-on-one -on -one sessions I do with people, I have a live online class that I'm doing that I call Abundantly Yours which is to focus on your abundance and if you're interested in what the calling of your heart is. That's another thing that confuses people out there. A lot of people say, do your mission. You met your twin to do your mission. Oh, no, 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 no. You met your twin to be in love again. You met your twin to feel again. You met your twin to be new. You met your twin to reunify yourself. And there is passion. But like I said, you're not able to bring the passion that belongs to you, recharge your batteries, and then go do an about face and go into old situations. That is being disallowed, and people are going to find out pretty darn quick how quickly that goes. You're also not here to with people. You're not here to get messed with. You're not here to mess with people. Your twin is not here to mess with people. A lot of people have that energy lately where they'd like nothing else but to just have a good and you know you know do it with someone and that is not what you're here for you're here to be in love and there's no real mission about it but if what you think of as your mission is the calling of your heart join my webinar called abundantly yours because we are going to focus on this it's in three parts. I've already done part one. You're still in time for part two and three. If you join part two, you automatically get part one and part three. The price is $50. The next dates I have available, I, I did today, January 17th at, in, the, in my evening and January 18th, first thing in the morning in Chicago time. I also have a live hands-on class here in Chicago. So if you live in or near Chicago, if you live in Chicago, Michigan, Indiana, Wisconsin, Iowa, or you want to get on a plane and make a trip here, I do a live hands-on class for Twin Flames. That is my live class. It is next weekend, the 20th or the 21st. Each day is the same program, so it's a one-day intensive where 
I help you get your channels open and I also do a chakra balancing on you and I, I do this myself. I feel both of you and I will get you balanced and there's time for question and answer. I actually thank everyone who has joined already because I've had a few of these classes and they've gone very, very well. So please consider it because I'm going to be having more. This isn't stopping. You know what's stopping? People's level of being able to accept this, that this is really happening. This is the year for it's real people. This is real and it really is happening for your twin. No matter how blind or blindfolded or deaf, dumb and blind that you might think your twin is, they're not and they're not going to stay that way. And it's up to you to help them. Find out how because if you are the love, love is relentless, passion is relentless. The level of passion, yeah, you could say it does include hearts and flowers and books and candy and all kinds of romantic things that are Earth's definition of romance. But it also includes a high level of cosmic passion and cosmic lovemaking that some of you have forgotten. And that's what it's going to be about. However, the love is private and it's not here for people to recharge, take back into other situations. A lot of people have taken other people's stuff. They've been sucking the love out of other people's unions long enough. They've been trying to seduce. They have been having, you know, flirtations and hookups and yeah, it's all been okay. But guess what people? That fourth dimension, it's going in the garbage. We're not here for all of the innuendos and, you know, all of the hidden things anymore. It's been popping out and popping out and popping out. And all the ways that people have had to, that's a part of releasing the past and all of the things. What do you think happens to you if someone who's false is sucking out the love of your union elsewhere? You get sick. At the least you get irritated. You get inflammations, you get infections. Now in your physical life, this also translates into things like diseases, sexual diseases, opportunistic things. And you're not here for that either. You're here to be in love. You're here to be enveloped in your love bubble. You're here for the initial thing you first felt to really be with you all the time. And there's a reason we're doing it physically. And if you pay attention to your body, you'll sense that your body is doing something. That is what I teach. I teach you about the body. I teach you how to have full abundance. I teach you how to easily purge because these cycles will come up again. People that I've been teaching, and I've been criticized big time. I've been criticized again and again. Patricia, you say this. Well, let me just say this. Hey, is this new to you? Are some of the things that are being said out there, do you have to learn ancient Sanskrit? I can interpret Sanskrit. I know what it is. I was in those timelines. I can interpret the language of love because that is where I am at. I can tell you in English what it is. You can talk to me in your language and I will tell you what the language of the heart is. That is where it goes. That is the direction of this. Now, it, should you have to really um, know all kinds of ancient stuff or do you want to know what it is now? Do you have responsibilities? Are you finding that your life has been turned upside down because you met someone and suddenly you don't know what to do? You don't know if you should stay, if you should go, if you should move and, you, and you're struggling with that. Come and get some clarity. Come and ask some questions. These usually last on average about two hours. We cover a lot of ground. There are things that we talk about that enlighten people. You can participate as much as you want or as little as you want. Come and have a one on one session. Come and have a couple session if you want. And I will help you with guidance, not with my mind, not with my opinions, not with anything else but guidance. And I've been doing this for quite a while. So yes, in order for new people who just find out what this is, 
Don't be deterred. Don't be deterred by what's been saying out there, by what naysayers are saying. Because people come in and they learn, and many times you want to find out, what was that? That's natural. That's natural. But if some things don't click with you, that's also how it should be. If you're here to learn and you want some practical help, guidance, and assistance for what do you do? How do you do things by being? Because it is different. It's less mental. It's less effort. It is more loving. You are here for things to be effortless, as effortless as possible. And you're here to be in love. You're here to have the life that befits two sovereign beings who belong together with complete openness, honesty, and eyes open, and seeing everything, and without fear, in love, absolutely in love. Only you are the living bridge to the next dimension. Other people are not. You can't get there with a soulmate. You can't get there in any other astral travel. No matter what you try to learn, if you try to do TM, Transcendental Meditation, you may find that you're actually doing it differently where your union has blown you through to another level. Or you might find it doesn't work at all. You may find that other things actually don't work for you. And come and find out some of the things that do work. Because your abundance is a part of it. When I say fitness, this does not mean everyone has to lose 60 or 50 or 100 pounds. This means being fit for your union. This means being able to take things as they come and appropriately address it for your union with each other in perpetuity forever and ever as long as you both are living and alive. Okay, so I know that sound a little bit like wedding vows there. Hint, hint. Okay, so thanks so much for listening. I will be back with more. I hope you have a wonderful week. Come and join. Come and find out. Come and you will get three parts of great material. That's six hours of material for joining. And if not, I'm going to still have more down the line. If you can't do it now... And these are intended to uh, help make things very accessible. And the live class as well, you will get a lot out of it. So don't be afraid if your dimensional stuff is going away. You're here to come home to each other. And this is, this is going to be time for it. So I'll be back with more. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you to everyone who's already joined I think we have both have a great time of it. We laugh. Sometimes we cry and sometimes we laugh. And you wind up feeling your twin. If you're struggling to feel you with your twin, come and join. Get back in the feeling. Get the loving feeling back. Okay? So thanks so much. Bye now. <laughs>